In this video, I will show you how you can install Black Arch Linux on a USB drive. And this will not be a live USB drive meant primarily for testing. This will be a full Linux installation on a USB drive. And that means that you can update the system and everything you do or change on the USB drive will be saved back to the drive. But before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general or short agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps so you can skip any part if you want. I'm here on the official Black Arch website and it says that Black Arch is obviously Arch based and that it is a distribution for penetration testing and security research. We already covered two penetration testing distributions on this channel, but those were based on Debian and this one is based on Arch. So for instance, if you're interested how to install Pareto OS on a USB drive, penetration testing Linux distribution based on Debian, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. Black Arch also claims that its repository contains more than 2800 tools. It is also compatible with existing Arch installs, which basically means that you also get all the official Arch packages. And you also get access to the Arch user repository, which is awesome, so you have even more packages to choose from. The full might of Arch Linux. Now if you want to know which those tools are, go to Tools, and then here, you can see the list of all the packages inside the Black Arch Linux repository, and there are a lot of those. Let's try to find Tor Browser. Here it is. Nice. Now, first we need to download the ISO. Go to Downloads. The full ISO basically contains all the available tools from the repo, and it has 22 gigabytes. You don't see that often. But it also says that this ISO is highly discouraged, that you will get a lot of errors if you use it. And this brings us to the next one, the Slim ISO, which has a selected set of tools. This one has 5.5 gigabytes, which is still a lot, so probably you will get more than you need with this one. Then the last one, Net Install ISO, this one contains only the minimal set of packages. Now you can also install on top of an existing Arch installation, which is also nice if you have an existing Arch distribution and you want to extend it with the Black Arch penetration testing tools. And now one final thing. If you're using the full ISO or the net install ISO, then you will need to use the command line to install it. And here you also have the installation tutorial with all the steps that you need to do. But if you instead use the slim ISO, then you also get a GUI installer. And that's the one that we will use. So scroll up, download the slim ISO, download complete. And here is the ISO. Now this is the ISO with the live environment, with the installer, and first we need to flash this one on a USB drive. And then we will use this installer USB drive to install Black Arch on a second USB drive. So yes, again, we will need two USB drives. The first USB drive with this ISO can be any off-the-shelf stick, it doesn't really matter, but the second USB drive with the final Black Arch installation should be a more faster one. It should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the whole system will be very slow and you will get really frustrated and it doesn't matter if you have the newest machine, if the USB drive with the operating system is the bottleneck. So get a decent USB drive. I'm using one with 128GB and you can find the referral link down in the description. Now with that said, let's flash this one on the first USB drive and therefore we will use a tool called Rufus. This is Rufus, the official website, and I use this tool in almost every Linux installation video so far, so if you've been following me then you already know how this one works. Scroll down, click on the download link, download complete, and here is Rufus. Now plug in the first USB drive, the off-the-shelf stick, I will do it as well. Rufus recognized my USB drive. Now select the ISO. Black Arch Slim. OK. Now leave everything else as it is and click Start. Here we don't want the ISO image mode, we want DD image mode. And OK. Now it warns us that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be deleted. So if you have anything important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue. And now let's wait. 
perfect. Let's close it. The USB drive with the live environment is now ready and now we need to boot into it. So plug in the USB drive, restart the system, and then while the system is restarting, press one of the function keys. Usually it's F11 or F12, it depends on your PC manufacturer. Then you should get the boot menu, and inside the menu, select the USB drive and it should boot into it. I will do the same on my machine as well, and I'll see you in the live environment. Now here we are inside the Black Arch Linux live environment. The password for the live user is Black Arch, in case you're wondering. And now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive for the full Black Arch installation. I will do it as well. By the way, this is the XFCE desktop environment and you will get this one also after the install. So let's start the installer, install Black Arch and the password Black Arch. Now this is the Black Arch Linux installer and it says that I'm not connected to the internet. It's actually not necessary, so I will continue without it. And I will also go with the defaults, so English is OK. Location OK. Keyboard OK. Now this is the important step. Up here where it says storage device, select the USB drive that you just plugged in. In my case this is the one. And go to manual partitioning, because this one is the only option that worked in my case and go next. Here select new partition table, GUID partition table and OK. Now select free space and click create. The first partition will be the EFI partition. I will set the size to 500 megabytes. File system, pad32. Mount point should be slash boot slash EFI. And also check the boot flag and OK. Then again free space and create. This one will be the main partition with the operating system and it should occupy all the rest of the space. File system X4 is OK. If you want, you can encrypt it, but I will leave it as it is. Mount point should be root and we also want the root flag and OK. If you want, you can also create a swap partition here, but for this USB drive, we actually don't need it. So I will go next. Now fill in your user information and give it a strong password. I will also give the same password to the root user. And next, here you get a summary what will be done. Now everything that is currently on the second USB drive will be deleted. So again, if you have something important on there, make a backup first. I don't have anything important on there, so I will just continue and install. And now let's wait. This can take some time. Finished, all done. Now we need to reboot and boot into Black Arch. Again, while the system is restarting, open the boot menu and select the newly installed USB drive. I will do the same on my machine as well and I'll see you after the reboot. And here we are inside full Black Arch Linux and this one is running from the USB drive that we previously installed. Let's see what we have. Terminal. Let's do sudo pacman-sy. And now I will install NeoFetch. NeoFetch. So as you can see, this is actually Arch Linux, kernel 6.2. We are using the XFCE desktop environment and the memory consumption is about one gigabyte. Also, we have 1,500 packages installed. And if we look what they are, we can already see some penetration tools, actually a lot of them. Those Black Arch tools are also sorted here in two categories. Some interesting stuff here. If you like my videos and also want to support me, I also have a Patreon page. I really appreciate all the support I get and it's because of your support that I can make videos like this one. So thank you very much and the link to Patreon is up there or down in the description. In a previous video, I also showed you how you can install the vanilla Arch Linux on a USB drive. And to do it, you just need a single USB drive, not two. So if you're interested how to install the vanilla Arch Linux on a USB drive, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, you also have a super thanks down there where you can buy me a coffee, for instance, so I can make more of those awesome videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.